So January 1st, 2012, I started following the Walls Protocol, which is a modified form of paleo. And paleo, for people that don't know, is we lean proteins, uh, organic vegetables and fruits. We don't eat grains, we don't eat gluten, we don't eat refined sugar, we don't eat legumes, and we try and eat organic and grass-fed and wild-caught as much as possible, if you can. If you can't, that's still fine. You'd still be considered eating paleo. And by the following October, I started going off the medications one by one because as my symptoms healed, I didn't want to take the drugs anymore because of course I didn't need them. By July 4th, 2013, I moved independently for the first time in my life. I was able to use my hands, my swallowing issues went away. The left side of my body, which had been dead since the age of 23, like I couldn't feel it. You could stick a pin in it, you could punch me, you could, and I would never even know it. Woke up. Still doesn't feel the same as the right side, but it's awake. Like you punch me now, I'll punch you back, you know? And it's really, and I started managing every symptom that I had for multiple sclerosis. But I was telling every, like the, you know, my daughter and, and the few people that I did keep in contact with, like my PT and my acupuncturist at the time, and they were watching all this. And I kept telling them, you know, it's food, you know, food is so important. I was already moving my body. I, I already learned how to love myself so that when I plugged in food, it was like, wow, wow, this is like amazing what is happening. When I told people food was helping me, it wasn't received very well. It was almost like me saying that I was using food and healing myself. They heard it as you're still eating a standard American diet and you're not smart, which is kind of a weird translation as to what I was telling them. But people weren't really embracing it. Most of the time they were asking me to just stop talking about it. As of today, I'm the most healed person in the world who has secondary progressive MS using diet and lifestyle alone. I take no drugs and I see no doctors and I have no out-of-pocket health care costs at all other than insurance premiums. I completely take care of myself. I spend, I don't see a PT, I don't spend money on a yoga class, I don't, I don't spend money on anything. To a lot of people it would be really scary but MS still lives inside me and it still will rear its ugly head but I have this big bag of tricks I call it filled with tools that I just go in my bag of tricks, pull out what I need and apply it and MS runs scared from what time I go to bed to the clothes that I wear to what I wash my clothes in to the hours in a day that I eat because now I only eat eight hours a day. I intermittent fast. I go every quarter for 72 hours without eating. I follow my circadian rhythm when I sleep. I never worry about money. I only wear recycled clothes. I eliminate every toxin that I can control in my life from friends to substances in my house. Um, I actually was just learning yesterday, I mean I only buy recycled clothes anyway, but about just even like I always bought cotton thinking, oh cotton's like the best thing I could put against my skin, but there's pesticides on cotton and they're putting that in clothes, so I'm still even wearing cotton pesticide clothes. Like just learning, all, learning as much as I can to be able to treat my body with gratitude for all it affords me and how it lets me move my body freely. And um, the more that I do all that stuff, the more my body continues to defy the odds and heal. Most people that have a debilitating disease, we sit in fear of what it's gonna take from us. And I did that for 25 years, but now it's, MS is no match for me right now.